<laughs> it is Thursday. Wake up. It is 30 degrees. Quite chilly outside. Warm in the studio. The well, sure. Ooh, or maybe it's all the hot air in here this morning. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be plenty of hot air in here. All right. <laughs> Whoa, a little bright this morning. We like to wake folks up early. Say, so, hey, we are bright. <laughs> Sun coming up just a little bit. Jeff Matthew, jaw jacking, jaw jacking. First of all, slip smacking, jaw jacking. It's on my shirt. It's a, well, I couldn't read it. <laughs> on your shirt. I know she covered my ZTV oh. up a lot. Today. Yeah, well, you know, until you. Yeah. Break Thank y'all for getting up with us. Here's what's coming up today. Yes, Mr. GG himself is in here. Cupcake man, Kevin. Didn't even bring us one either, did you? I'll bring some by to you. Yeah, he'll bring some by later. We'll talk with him just a little bit. Going broke coming Arnold by Mitchell here. going to join us a little bit. And on the set, the three students this morning. No <laughs> 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 yeah. We're off to are. see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of the world. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Donnie's a scientist. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, is that what it is? I mean, Donnie's a scientist. Well, he's got to do something else anyway now that LSU got a beat down the other night. We'll talk Saints. about that in a little bit, too. We're still looking for that Alabama fan who abused the LSU guy in the Crystal Restaurant. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Bob Rabbit. Today <laughs> yeah. we're cooking. Uh, <laughs> I don't think part of me that didn't resemble that guy. A lot of stuff going on. In <laughs> yeah, what are we cooking? Uh, today we're cooking fettuccine. Uh, I'm going to make an Alfredo sauce. I'm going to put chicken, and then on the side I'll put a little shrimp in case somebody likes that. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be homemade. It's no different mixes or anything like that. And then uh, we'll, we'll throw a, uh, a few tomatoes in a bowl, and we'll put a little, little oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, a little oregano, a little garlic powder, make a little... Uh, Tomato salad. Uh, how did it go at Sparkman the other day? Sparkman we got, we'll have some video of that coming up in just a little bit, too. Spar Sparkman High School, uh, we did 165 Boston butts. Uh, it was. It was, it was had a fire. Had, had a little fire. <laughs> We've got a video here in a little bit that during the video, er, everything's going great. I'm, I'm talking about uh, the show, Boston Jim, butts and things like that. Somebody stabbed me. And then in the background, <laughs> as you'll see later, there's a huge fire going on. So we had a great We'll have video of that coming up in just a little bit. You I'm can text story at 603-4848 this morning. It's going to be a good-looking day. No rain, I don't think, today. She's about to do the weather for you. Let's get Zorro's in here already. Been passed around this morning and uh, biting everybody in. Tony and Frank in here on this morning, too, on phone 230 Cooper and Company Live, ZTV. Let's get it cranking on a sports Thursday. That's right. Let's talk about that weather forecast. 30 degrees out there this morning, but it's going to be a beautiful day, and we're finally going to see another day of sunshine. That's good. I sure do admit, I do not like the rainy, gloomy days. But high temperatures today, 57, low of 37 tonight, 59 tomorrow, 53 for the, well, not sorry, 50, yeah, 53 for the low. Wow, that stunned me there. Hope that's right, Cor. And and mostly cloudy skies. The rest of the forecast looking like this. We could see some rain over the weekend. Now it's not going to happen on Friday unless it comes in late, but Saturday looks Look at like those the day. Look at the temps. 67, 70 next Happily week. I believe we're still in a drought, oh, huh? Wow, it reminds me of summer. I can't wait. Have <laughs> I played that national championship game yet? No, it's coming up in uh, Janu January 2013 <laughs> with LSU and USC. Uh, you going down, Zach? I was going until I heard about the same percent chance of rain. So. I hope it rains that whole freaking day. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, USA this morning, cable, cable stop 15. The, the game drew 24.2 million viewers. That's all? Wow. Most of those are in goes on to say, <laughs> for a beatdown of them LSU Bingo Tigers yeah, who yeah. thought they was the hottest thing <laughs> ever. We are. We're one and one, ain't we? Get y'all yeah. this year. Uh, Zach, I mean, at your house, Zach, how many TVs you own? Got three. You got three. How many TVs you got in your house? Four. Three. Three. Huh? Gosh, three. Five. Yeah. I got five. Jeff, how many TVs you got? I got well, five. now, I got six in my house. Only three working. One down. We got one, one man down. Man down. Households in the households that own in millions, 17 million, almost 18 million folks on one TV. Yep. 33 million on two. Okay. 28 million on three. Okay. And 36 million Americans on four or more. Now, how many do you have that you actually use that are working? Well, I, 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 I got. I got. Because I know when you're at it, you must have 20. I got. No, I, I got two in the kitchen. You gave me one. Room. I think <laughs> one, we have ten. <laughs> one in the. <laughs> one in the. I got three upstairs, two downstairs, and I use uh, every one. I mean, they one. did good, but it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> we had just bought that house. Oh. <laughs> I had just gotten the single, okay, and and I don't have a TV. So they said, well, that was yeah, like we. That's a long time ago. Well, that was four and a half years oh, ago, and that's okay. Now. But anyway, so they were kind. They said, well, we have an extra TV. You come have get one. I said, okay, great. So I go over there. They gave me 
<laughs> about that big, black and white, it's and the back of it was about six feet. So I had to put it six feet from my wall. So hey, I know, right? <laughs> and I put it. And it was heavier than the big ones. Now. Yeah, it was. And I had, I had, a, I got tall speakers. Well, I had my room, and I put it back on that TV. Well, give on it that back. Side. So it was so funny. But you guys already so gave it away. <laughs> That's kind of we a joke. Give it to charity. Well, they well, 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 we good. just took them down there. But hey, we bought that house from Tom. They came with a built-in cabinet, beautiful house, with a Sony Trinitron. Yep. Well, we get in there, and I said, well. We got this big Vizio we're going to put in here. We gave it to We like to never got that thing out. It must have weighed 800 pounds, and the back of it was this <laughs> long. Oh, yeah. Man, you got to get like a front end loader over there to get it off the board. Yeah, now you just go buy, uh, when your TV thing goes out, you just go buy a bub. It's at ninety nine dollars, and I'm not sure. Replace it. I had to do it once, and it's, it's just yeah, like that Jamie's brand new Yeah, Jamie's really candy. handy about it. And, and I'm not the sure the remote they gave me worked, so I had to always <laughs> had to get up and turn the channel. Well, we gave Frank the other two TVs we'd had in here for ten years, and Frank's got them stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I bet. You know, <laughs> but thank tide. you. I mean, you guys, you guys came through for me. Huh? I'll roll always tide. thank you for it. You said roll tide. Roll tide. Hey, well, whoever I go for, they lose. Roll Loser, tide, baby. <laughs> Losers, go saving. Roll tide. It's over. What has happened to you, boy? My my <laughs> went from like 80% down to zero this past week. Yeah, they, I'm not sure I'm not loaning you $10. Dollars hey, I got to do a shout out. Pete Lamb, if you're watching this morning, it's on for tonight. Just want to let you know. You got it, Pete. He, he is a mixed you know. up, shook up kind of guy. All right. That's it's not like how the recruits don't. Bobby, are you sure you weren't in New Orleans now the championship game? Uh, he no. was. That was him. Uh, <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's part of that guy that uh, oh. does not resemble me whatsoever. So. Well, you know Harlan what? said, <laughs> I mean, Harlan said walking in, uh, but you said that uh, it was a, a re somebody at the TV station in Mobile, it was there. It was the first one that went to do it, and his girlfriend stopped him. They started showing this on their, on their news report. And next thing you know, it's their executive director's grandson, and his father is the uh, sports director. So now, oh. and he knows who did it. Can they file charges against him, Harlan? I believe so, for standing by watching a crime. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Stand or abusing a drunk LSU fan? They're standing there watching it. No, he wasn't watching him. He was doing more than that. No, that guy, but the guy down there was watching, watching him. But yeah, right. he don't know the guy. Exposure, probably. Being intent for sexual gratification. I don't know about it. No, that couldn't be no gratification. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? It's got to be Alabama fans because first you have Harvey Updike poison trees, and now you got our guy, y'all's guy, trying to poison our guy with their. Well, if you guys and those other people would learn how to win more often, then you'd have but different but problems. Heard, it, <laughs> it could be considered a sexual assault. It will be considered a sexual assault. Oh, I guess. Yes, I, I don't know. I heard 48 that they said, it was somebody in Louisiana said that they could press charges without that guy. They can because they got proof. But apparently that guy now has an attorney, so what yeah. I heard yesterday. So, I, they, so they if know I was that guy. No, they're still trying. They got a Facebook page no, trying they, to find out. They know but that who it is. But the, the guy, guy down there knows who Mobile, it is. his sports director's son, knows who it is. And they, they will. First, first of all, if I was that guy, I would no way in heck put my face in public again. <laughs> well, <laughs> looking, being drunk and passed out at a crystal like that, Ooh. and then having someone do something like that, there's no way I would even. But it doesn't matter because it's well, like the, here, the person of interest, the poster of the person of interest was sent as an attachment to an email. After further review and investigation, the New Orleans Police Department has now asked the public for their assistance in identifying the person of interest in this video. Yeah, and the cops are right outside now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't do it. And the, I, you know who's going to, and, and I, I'll tell you what's going to happen. The cops are right I'm, outside. I'm, I just, the, that. Oh, yeah, the, re, the people yeah. saying outside of video well, uh, Now you're a lawyer, so now what's going to oh, happen? That's guys. right. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. No one's going to get in trouble except for Crystal. They had yeah, employees no. come up right there and watch yeah. it. Crystal will nothing, be in trouble, but that guy, when, about they, it. when they find out who the guy is, he will have do to rest as a sex offender. Now, he just destroyed his whole really? career. Yeah. He'll have to rest if they, if it's sexual, sexual offense. Yeah. yeah, and I, I got them, I pulled them up the other day to look at them. He would have to rest as a sex offender? <laughs> yeah, so now what, when he graduates from school, what's going to happen? When he, he ruined it. Oh, First of all, God. for all you folks out there that are thinking, you Alabama fans who are delusional and thinking about doing something, <laughs> the eye, somebody's filming something all the way around. Well, you Don't do nothing they can see unless it's in the privacy Lynn, of your home, and then your wife might Jamie, see and Donnie, you can't <laughs> I think he's talking to you. You can't blame that on just, that's two stupid Alabama fans. Everybody's wanting to say, now look at you. Now, no, you know, I know, I guy, know, I know, guys. I know. But <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't compare every, me to every, these guys. Every, 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 every football, oh, every football. Boys, calm down. You are the one 
that took your clothes off and jumped in my pool <laughs> and left your underwear but in I my house. I didn't, but I had clothes on. I didn't expose myself to you guys. Thank, Thank God you. I didn't. So now I would guarantee you, if I'd have done that, it would have been all over YouTube. Uh, uh, right uh, there would have said, look at this. Hey, here's another question you might ask Harlan later. Who, uh, the idiot that was filming it and putting it on YouTube, can they get in trouble for doing it? Yeah, oh. yeah, because, yes, they can. I don't because know. Because they're, they're actually doing porno. <laughs> because the guy was had oh. he had his genitals out. No, it, it, uh, it got to get porno, he baby. get in, in charged for indecent exposure. It's probably going to be the number tape? one thing. Someone throw me the duct tape quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I don't know. I just think there's going to be indecent exposure. <laughs> Charge against that guy, possibly assault, but <laughs> Crystal is the one that's going to be bad. Hey, I you mean. stick your genitals in my face, I promise you, you're well, as you've never seen. Go <laughs> well, in. First of all, yeah, like you said, it's going to be it's going to be <laughs> sexual <laughs> gratification, and I'm not sure either one of them on either end of that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd stayed home today, John. <laughs> We're always <laughs> safe. Oh Lord, Jeff, how's it going over there? <laughs> 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 There's no sexual gratification. Hey, you got, you got any tea bags over there? <laughs> wow. I, I, I know that Crystal quit selling the sack full now. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had one, but it was a small sack full. That's all I can tell you. I'm going to take a break. Zach, can, can we take a break? Alabama? Yeah, please. <laughs> I mean, the, like I said, we hired a couple coaches. Uh -huh. Got our offensive coordinator. And a lawyer, I too. I pronounce his name. Doug Nussmeyer. Everybody just call him Coach Nuss, I guess. Lance Thompson. <laughs> that goes right in the Nuss, N-U-S-S. <laughs> okay, uh, I know. Okay. Now, Lance Thompson, there's a lot of us that's not too happy because he's been, this is third time saving. Yeah. He's, hired, he's hired him once now, shooting him twice at Alabama. He had a little pass when he left to go to Tennessee. See, now Saban hires him back, but... Hey, he's, he's the one making $4 million a year, so I guess he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's, got, he's got three national championships under his belt. He is a good recruiter. Saban needs a, needs a raise. He does, and he's about 10 million. He, he got a raise. Right, I'm going to take a break. Come back. We'll do a joint venture of a CNN coming back here. Jeff's he cooking. Can, hear, can you hear me, Jeffrey? Right now. How's your mama? Me and God, we hear it all. Uh, mama's good. Mama's real good. And Donnie's not I'm glad my mama not watching right. this show. Take a break. Come back. We'll have video of Sparkman High School Mine this past is. weekend, too. Y'all hang on. I told my mama.